This is part two of an introduction on how to onboard suppliers using SimDojo. So in part one, we created our onboarding event, and now I'm going to show you how to invite suppliers and how to take them through the onboarding process. Uh, so here on our participant summary screen, uh, we can add a new supplier from this screen. Let me do that right now. We can choose which questions we're going to ask them, and that will depend on the type of supplier they are, for example. So um, uh, you may have different types of questionnaires depending on the type of work they're going to do for you. We can then enter their email address, or we can use a, a spreadsheet to upload email addresses and click invite. The system will then dispatch an email to them with instructions on how to register and the steps to take next. So inviting suppliers is a straightforward process. Um, from that point, we can manage the process from the dashboard. We can see the number of people who have been invited and how many have accepted the invite. Um, we will expect them to submit answers to the questions that we provided. We will then need to score those answers and take a decision about whether they can be approved as a supplier. After that decision has been made, the system will then manage the, um, the process from there on, checking for expirations of any documents or questionnaire answers and remind everyone involved that those need to be updated. So we've invited the supplier. What I'd like to do now is look at the submissions and actually uh, take one of them through the process. So we can see here my carpet company uh, has submitted their answers but those answers haven't been scored. So I'll take a look at them. And we also have a helpful actions tab where we can see what actions need to take place. Um, and that will uh, also generate reminders to people uh, to ask them to go and uh, conduct those actions. So at the moment, uh, there's just one action that's for me and I need to score the questionnaire. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's a very simple questionnaire. Most of the answers are automated. We've gathered some information about their bank details. We need to check their public liability insurance, so I can download that document there, uh, which they've uploaded. Notice we've also got an expiry date for that, which is good, that's a few months away. So I'll review the document, and I'll give them a score and an optional comment. And um, that is uh, everything I need to do to score it. So we've scored them. So what we can do next is take a decision. So we can see that They've got an 80% score. Um, we want to onboard them, so we will approve them in this case. We can identify which um, type of participant groups they sit in, so we, we can categorize them. We can make any notes about this supplier um, for our audit trail. And then finally, we can send them a message to inform them that they are now successfully a supplier. And that is the onboarding process. Um, the system will manage it. Obviously, everything doesn't go quite as quickly as, as we've seen today in the real world, but there are numerous uh, notifications and alerts to keep the process on track. I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for 